Hi, I'm Greg and welcome to this honest review of the Minal bundle or the Minal daily and the Minal carry-on, uh, both 3.0 in black as you can see. Um, this is not really a review channel, I am just trying to, uh, to do a video where I can synchronize uh, the cameras, microphone and other camera and I thought this would be a good test case. But if you're interested in these bags, I am going to try to do a uh, as best as a review as I can of this. Um, but if you want a professional review channel, I would suggest Pack Hacker or Chase V's, uh, both linked below on YouTube. So I am going to start with the small bag, the Minal. Uh, Minal Daily bag, uh, which has been touted as one of the perfect uh, bags for um, digital nomads, but I actually think that's a bit of a misnomer. I think this is a more or less the perfect tech bag for daily use. And why is that? Uh, it has a combination of some really, really clever organization that is quite flexible. And then also what I would call non um, organization, which is something that most daily bags uh, really miss out on, uh, which is a, which really enhances the flexibility. So let's start from the, the back. Here we have the straps. Um, these are nice and tight and you can see the seams here. They are actually on the outside of the back away from your shoulders. So in terms of carving into your shoulders, they don't do that at all. Um, this can carry quite a bit of a heft uh, weight without being a nuisance, which is really nice. And on the other side as well, there's no, on the outer side of the shoulder, there is no uh, seams as well. Apparently that's an improvement from the last iteration of the bag. Um, I don't know about that, but the, uh, well, this is a super, uh, super nice uh, design. The foaming is really dense and thick, uh, but still flexible and just adjustment, um, which is nice. And I think it's more or less the same foam that you use in the back. Uh, the back is not super ventilated, but I don't know how much that actually means because I have tried very ventilated bags and non-ventilated bags and it's more or less the same uh depends really on the climate and your activity this is not maybe suited for um a really good hiking bag uh you may want something that's a little more stiff and for that matter maybe a little bigger uh and has a little bit more outdoorsy organization but for getting on the metro a field metro or field train um uh, in the morning, even having on a bike, which I do quite a lot. This is actually kind of perfect. Uh, it's very stiff in the back, and then it also has a clasp here on the, um, the sternum, I think it's called, um, in English, so with a little whistle on, which is always nice to have. The only thing that I don't like about the strap system is that it's big brother, which we will get to uh, in a few minutes, has a class locking mechanism uh, built into it, which I don't really get why we don't have this on, on the small bag because this is where I find it very useful because if I only had a carry laptop or something like that, this is not really that heavy and it's quite well stiffened and then you may not need the sternum strap. Of course, there's a bit of a loop here that you can hang things in and you can of course just put that in here, which is a nice light. My theory of why this hasn't been done is because um, you want a bit, little bit of flexibility because when you hide the straps, uh, this can maybe bulge out a little bit. And then we'll uh, we can hide away just by unclasping these, hiding these in the, in the sides. It's a little bit of a um, you can rough handle this bag a little bit because it's very stiff and, and good, thick materials. Um, so you're not really not afraid of it getting in there a little bit, it's like uh, you have some bags that are but you're really afraid that they're gonna break on you if you rough handle them a little bit, but not this one, this is uh, everything is sturdy, uh, which is quite nice. So you can just hide these in, I'll just redo with both because then I deal with that with the front of this. And then here in the top, there is a nice little um, just, you know, button that you just clasp. So you can, you can really get this out so you have room for your hands to put things in and adjust things in there. And then when you're done, this button is a little, you know, not the easiest one, but does it need to be? Not really. Like even if it's open, you hardly will notice. Um, but when it's closed, it's, it's quite nice and everything is quite nice. You just have this pretty flush uh, side. 
uh, front here. Very black. I think it's a 600 denier, um, which is a quite thick uh, canvas like material. You're not really afraid of scratching it, uh, really, which is quite nice. And then with a nice minimalistic logo here, which is actually also on the back, but you know, can't see this part as well. Um, but yeah, it used to be blue. Uh, I think the white one is quite nice, but honestly, I think blue is kind of kind of cool. So, uh, but this is, you know, this is a very monochrome um, uh, bag as it is now, which is quite nice. Uh, if you get into the compartments in, uh, in the front here, there's a bit of a small compartment. This is the pocket alternative compartment. I even have a nice little SD card in there. Um, and inside of that, yeah, I can show you that, we'll get into one of the small problems I have with this bag, even though I bought it in a second. But here we also have a net that's unzipped. And this is the, I think, the only zipper that's one of two zippers, internal zippers that are small and can feel kind of fragile, but again, these are internal. The outside ones are just beefy, which is nice. And in here, somewhere, if I can find it, you have a nice little blue uh, loop for your keys. I never use this, but it's nice to have, I guess. Um, so you always know where your keys are and you don't bottle around when you have to find them in the dark. It's a good hand size, and I have quite big hands. Um, so it's not quite useful for big over your headphones or camera equipment or anything like that, but you know, just stuffing stuff down that you normally would have in your pockets, that's, that's what it's good for. And I think also about the value is for that. But that, but the back pocket, it's stiffened on the back, so that's where your bag are, so this has a nice stiffness to it. It's also a little bit heavy uh, compared to other bags. Uh, it seems to me, but um, nothing too unbearable at all. Uh, and I think this, the heft goes into the stiffness and the back plate, uh, which is why you appreciate it. Um, and here we have the famous somewhat um, laptop slash tablet carrying system. They call something specific, I kind of got right now. Um, but it is a dual pocket system where I have a big pocket that uh, lifts over the button, so it's a false button, so you, uh, if you put your back down really, really hard, then it's not really a problem in terms of breaking your laptop, uh, or tablet for that matter, and, um, and you, can, you can take your, both your tablet and front pocket, uh, and your laptop, bigger laptop, back pocket, um, from both the top, so top loader, and from the side, the side loader, or messenger bag, if that's what you choose to do. Um, so, the thing I really like about this system is it has a certain idea to it. I think with most, like some, most of these bags, they had a thought that this would be like a MacBook Pro and, and maybe a bigger iPad, iPad Pro. But the thing is, I, I don't own either of these. I, uh, I have a bit of a system different, uh, different system, but these are actually my, both my laptops, my personal big beefy Surface uh, Book, which is a really thick laptop uh, because that's an inbuilt tablet thing. And then a quite heavy uh, work computer because I'm one of those guys. Um, so I actually sometimes carry two pretty heavy laptops. I'm not sure about the, the total weight of these, but five kilos is not unrealistic, like 10 pounds, uh, something like that. Uh, and the good thing about this is uh, because of the adjustment systems that are here, um, which is just like little belt loops, um, made from the material that you use uh, for seat belts. You can have bigger or smaller laptops uh, and there will still be a tight fit. So I usually put my, like, in terms of actual like size on the table, it's, it's 13 inches, so it like, takes the space about 14 inches, I guess. Um, and it's, it's really snug here in the innermost loop, but if you have a bigger laptop, you can just go out of the loop. I hear people having 16, 17 inch laptops in here, no problem. Just put that up over, it then it's nice, snug, and secure. Same thing in the side. And that will basically not move around too much. Tablet pocket, of course, being what it is, is um, it's big enough that this 13 inch, I think, uh, laptop from HP, work laptop, classical uh, work laptop, also fits in here. And really these two are here because they're so thick, they wouldn't normally fit in a laptop and 
and tablet iPad specific pocket. Uh, but because this is neoprene and these are f like uh, elastic and flexible, these are actually very tight. And even though it's it's five kilos on your back, um, which is normally like having two laptops in a bag, especially if there's no compartment like this, or even if there's just a one dedicated pocket that just fits up one another, it's like it's hell because one of them will, will always move around. This barely feel it, um, and it's it's just great. I mean, perfect. Um, the, the Velcro here uh, doesn't stick to the backside, so that's one good thing. Except that in here, you can, can't see it, but there's actually a uh, the fluffy part of the Velcro um, where it actually just sticks, so it has a place to be. And that's one, another thing in this bag is there's no loose ends, uh, neither on the outside or the inside. It's just that you have a fixed place to put things that are part of the bag, which is just really nice. Here we have um, a bit of a weird compartment, uh, considering this is mostly backpack. I would bet that 90% of, of customers, 90 plus percent of the time, carry this bag as a backpack because it's really good for that. And despite of that, these pockets are not sticky, they're not... Um, you can't close them, they're just loose, and they're pointed like a messenger bag. Which means when you have that backpack, if you have stuff in there, they actually fall out. With the exception of this little pocket here, which is uh, nice and uh, deep and, uh, and it has, has a zipper. Um, but this one is like really nice and big pocket, but you can't really have anything. And the only thing I have is like a writing artist glove kind of thingy, because that's the only thing I can have in here reliably that won't fall out. And that's a bit of a shame. Um, there are some seams I think you can get that are like sticky in nature, uh, because they have a, like a rubbery nanotech kind of thing on it, that would really like close these in, or some really small magnet uh, material. Just so you would stay just a little bit close, but you still like quickly open them with one finger, would very much be preferable to what you have here. Um, but yeah, that's a 4.0 uh, suggestion. Here in the big side, or in the behind these uh, organization pockets, you have one big pocket that, uh, that fits A4 paper or even larger quite well. Um, I think someone called them business papers, but in my case, I have used that for books and. Um, reports, I guess that's business papers as well, but um, like 100 page reports that we need to uh, go through something uh, or have something in reference, really good for that. In really smart organization, the heaviest, flattest things are your laptop tablets to the back and to the back with that. After that, probably papers, highest density, so to speak, uh, in terms of weight, um, put that uh, just behind that, uh, for behind the laptops. And that's just the overall part of this. It's actually kind of clamshell, uh, I didn't quite cover that. But that means you can quite well just lay it out um, and pack things flat on the table, like I have here, or bed, or whatever. But you just zip them up when you're done. There's quite a lot of load in this, and you get to that thing. But when you're then out and about, if you need something, open up like a top loader, or take another angle. Opening it up like a like a side loader uh, where you can get to your to your paper uh, pocket uh, and then also the laptop tablets really easily. So you have like this. And it's not heavy. You can just move it about, and you have like two good handles here to do that, which is quite nice. So both the uh, daily and the uh, bigger carry-on has this feature where you have um, it's kind of like this curve here. Uh, so you have this weird shape, but. I think I know why, and I'll get to that. Uh, and then you can zip it all the way down, way further than you usually can with bags, and then you can just open it up, and you can load things directly if you have on the table. So I put tools in mine, um, and I actually did that because I had to use tools to uh, for something in my uh, in my, uh, my workplace. So I was carrying these around, and it's just again, it's just nice and snug and fit. Um, just adjusting the just once adjusting the um, the straps. And, uh, and then uh, the sternum strap, having two laptops and tools um, has not been a problem. Um, 
and it's basically the first bag I can tell you that with of this size. Now a little bit of a thing with the black material here. You can see I actually already scuffed it up a little bit. Um, I had groceries in here. I think that's from that. Um, but that's what what can happen here. Here we have two organization pockets. They're flat, so you can't carry too much. But of course, it's also on the back uh, of the, the bag with a very flat behind it, and then whatever you have in here, um, rummaging around. Um, we have one down here below, which is a smaller pocket. It's not useful, but you know it's good to hide something maybe valuable, but you can put down further. It's difficult to steal from. It's also where you can put things you don't need that much or that often. Um, and then here you have a mesh pocket. See the mesh pocket? I just have my flat little arc mouth here, which is a nice place to have this, and you can see through. So I usually have some uh, some kind of office supplies here. It's not really good for like a charger. Um, there's no really good place for that in particular in terms of organization, and a lot of bags will try to do that. But this one really doesn't have it because on the other side, you know, you have a flat compartment where things might fall out. Uh, it's not really flat. These are too flat, I think, really. Uh, and also, if you put pressure on it, you will put pressure on your laptops as well. Um, so what do you do instead? Well, you have this giant volume compartment. Uh, I think this is a great space for packing cubes. It's a great uh, space for, for just having blocks of things. Um, camera packing cube, uh, extra clothes. Um, I will also get into accessories uh, later on, but there are little loops here for accessories, um, specifically a shirt holder. I could also see myself DIYing to use these for other things as well, something like hanging freely. Uh, camera equipment, uh, for instance, I have a camera cube just hanging here. Um, but it's a, the same thing as the steam loops down here to have things uh, fixed in place that just lies flat, which is quite nice. Here on the bottom, uh, you can see there's a bit of a soft pillow here. And um, just to put that what it is, for the already know, but if you sit on this little, again, this is the, one of the small zippers, but again, do you care? Not here, probably not. Um, this is a rain fly, which in classic, I guess, now style, it's, it's good and, and rainproof. It has a nice little sticky uh, material on the inside, um, but it is completely black. Um, the cool thing about this rainfly is it actually has its own inbuilt pocket, so you can take it off with this little clasp. Um, and if you do that, you can just pack it into your own separate cupboard, put it in your cupboard if you need that, or inside the bag if you absolutely want everything to be flush in the big compartment. Um, I live in Denmark, so I always have the rain fly because that's just the nature of things here. It's very unreliable, so I think this is a great feature. We have one of the handles here. Uh, this one is a little smaller. It's, um, there's a bit of foam in here, but it's mostly just folder seatbelt material. Good to grab. This one up here, it's also folder seatbelt, but there's a bunch more foam here. This is actually squishable uh, with a hard foam, kind of like what you have in the back, and it's just really comfy, even with quite a lot of weight in it. Uh, so I could also see myself going to a conference or a whole day event where you have to move around a little bit, and then just uh, move around and sit down a lot, and then come in with my bag, pack it in, and then just move my stuff around, just in with the carrying handle, uh, for when I just too easy carrying around. Um, at the back here, there's also a small hidden pocket. So this is a safety pocket, it's quite deep, you can see almost to my wrist, uh, goes to the more or less exact middle of the back. Um, but that's, uh, but that's good, a good place to carry extra cash or credit cards, whatever, something that's not too bulky but probably you want to keep private. There's no way, it's not a hidden um, uh, zipper or anything, but when you actually have it on or wearing this, it, it's not that, you, you can't see that well. But of course if you have it in briefcase mode, it's another thing because this actually kind of sticks out a little bit. So. I would maybe have preferred that this was one of the, these sabers where you like where they fell down by themselves just to make it a little less visible. Um, here we have two loops. This is for the accessory that I did not choose um, to uh, to have, which is the or to buy, which is the uh, carrying um, for uh, for briefcase mode. Um, 
But again, I think having this in briefcase mode is a little big um, for everybody. So it's uh, and also would be quite heavy. I have some experience with having quite heavy gear in my uh, in my uh, in a briefcase mode bag, and I don't think it's that comfortable. In, um, but as a backpack, this is just great. So upsides, I think the having um, having the both the organization for your most common but still flexible things like the laptops uh, and papers is really really good until the really flat. And then this large room, and people say it's like protect equipment, which is kind of true. But what I think this is way more powerful for is the yes, honey, I'll just uh, stop by the supermarket on the way home uh, for commuting. Um, because this can actually load quite a lot of stuff. The only downside to that is um, I have been overconfident with this a little bit, uh, going Christmas shopping, and I try to fill it up way more can, uh, than it can handle, because for me it's just like this is a big thing you can just stuff things into, and uh, I, I clearly bought some uh, things that are way bigger than what this bag could carry for everyday use. If you're quite light with your tech equipment, this is really nice because then you could stop by and buy groceries on the way home. Or for those 10% of the times where you need to buy, where you need to have tools with you or something, well, this can also do that for you. You don't have to carry something extra. You can still fit on your bag. You can still bike with it. You can motorcycle with it. You can uh, do whatever you want with this. Um, so that's quite cool. I think, I think this is a, Five out of ten messenger bag and a nine and a half out of ten uh, backpack because it's just it's just so many like just so thoughtful um, to have for, uh, for for your bag uh, as a backpack and this I use this as as the name kind of states daily this is my uh, go to work bag with my uh, laptop office gear that kind of stuff sometimes a little bit of extra clothes but uh, we will get to accessory in the end. I'm quite tall, 188 centimeters, um, six, six foot one, I think it's called in uh, Imperial, and this is kind of how it fits me, and I think it's quite well. The only thing is that the loop is basically on the top of my shoulder when I'm this tall, and if I try to snag it in, it would be really weird. Um, there's a, also a thing when you, especially when you bite, I noticed, and you bend, you can see it, the bottom of it actually lifts um, because it's so stiff, so it doesn't really carry. Uh, but, but it's still really comfortable, and again, I have two laptops in here right now, and I can not feel it at all. I mean, it, it should be heavy, it's not at all, because it's just so tied into it. Um, but when you're biking, that actually you know, lifts up. Uh, but you can also say that's probably pretty good for airflow, <laughs> so that's, that's good. So that's a small review of the Minal Daily uh, 3.0. Now let's go to the Minal Carry On 3.0. So this is the Minal uh, Carry On 3.0. It is a more or less just a bigger version of the daily uh, with some key um, differentiating features, but by and large, very same, much the a similar concept, similar thought uh, that goes into this, which is. Uh, Really, really cool. Um, so first of all, uh, you can, just like with the daily, carry this as a messenger bag. I think that would be borderline ridiculous. With the weight you're gonna probably put in this, uh, I would not recommend the messenger style for this. Um, on the outside, black on black, uh, with a nice little white logo. So then, two handles. Um, one on the top. One on the side, both of them with a little bit of foam in, them, and then just the same as the daily. It's just a seatbelt material. This is really nice for heavy carrying. This is a little less, but this is more meant to, I mean, short burst of putting it into a uh, overhead compartment, uh, carrying it around, um, and I think it's really nice. Um, all of that is quite clean, except it does have the water bottle on the outside. Um, but what this is used for, if you're carrying this quite a long way, um, uh, the water bottle is a little bit weird, it's not the strongest point of this bag, uh, but they did improve it from the 2.0 I guess, which is 
Now here, uh, it's actually fall. There's no button, but there is an elastic. So when you, you can actually pull it out, meaning that you could have your water bottle or thermos. Um, because before it was apparently like uh, going in in like a like a half circle, a quarter circle. Uh, but now you can actually quite well force this all the way down so it touches the elastic, which gives it a bit of like from ground. I happen to have a 1.25 uh, liter uh, water bottle here, just to combine the four, and that's more or less a perfect fit. And then, of course, this is tall, and that's what the elastic is for. It's like to so go around here, take it in, and then it's nice and snug and it won't fall out. Um, and you still have this. And when you don't have a water bottle, you can just pull things out, put this in, shape this a little bit, so it pulls in. I would like maybe like a bit of Velcro on these or something, so when you actually had this in, it wouldn't just, you know, be flexible in and out, but you actually have to pull it out. I think that would be really nice, but maybe just a small strip of something so it would stay in and keep that nice little profile, which is a very minimal uh, design, which is nice. Well, we have compression straps. These are made of, this is an aluminium, if I'm not wrong. Um, that very nicely sits in. Very simple, it's just loops. Basically, can't go wrong. It's, I think it's the right choice. And you really compress that if you don't have too much here. Uh, some people are giving them in all bags a little flack for when they're empty ish. You know, because of the big pocket, they can kind of flop around. I think it looks fine. I don't think it's a big problem. And I would really prefer that to having. Uh, something weighty to give it structure on the outside. I, I quite like that it's just light. Yeah. But it has that on both sides. They also have, the strapping system is way different than on the daily, where it was just you know, straps and just put it in the back. But here it's a uh, much bigger system. It is, you zip this up, and you have this flap that you have to roll. I think the easiest thing is to divide it into. And then you can really just snug it up here. And because of that, it can touch your neck a little bit when you're wearing it. Um, which is, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, not a, it's not a load, but it's just like touching and it can be a little weird. But get used to that real quick, I think. It's, a, it's, not, a, it's not a big issue at all. Then what you have here is a, a couple of bigger straps. You can see they actually don't come loose down here at all. They, uh, they stay in place, um, and that also means, of course, they're really good for refitting uh, or pre-fitting, so you always have the same fit and everything. I think the reason for not having the same strap system is that this is a heavier strap, but also that when this is pulled over, if you come to a situation where you have traveled with this as a carry-on, but maybe you have something in here, or like, you bought something or uh, that you're carrying with you, or it's too heavy, so you have to check it in. Actually, just taking this out, sitting in clothes, means that there are only very minor straps that can, that can, that can grab onto things. Uh, so I think I actually quite like this system. It also quite nicely hides the value pocket, which is the same place as the, the daily, same depth as well. Um, and then when you have that over, you can actually still have valuables in there and a back checker or, uh, or someone uh, offloading from a bus or something like that won't actually be able to see it and you can just have it in and out which is quite nice and again it won't actually grab onto anything um, down here we have these small loops uh, and these are for the belt strap I honestly I cannot quite tell if it's on purpose and I but I think it is these small loops for the hip straps are a little more a little bigger a little more open in the bottom end than in the top end. So when I was trying to put this in, I thought, oh, maybe it doesn't really matter, and I couldn't actually get it in uh, into the loops until I tried the right way. So here it's quite easy. You can like pull it a little bit to get it out. It's way more difficult to get out than to get in. But if you turn this again, but you can rough handle it, use more power. Uh, that usually works with this bag. Um, but also, it turns out that this Minal logo, which is supposed to look like a small fox, or what you call it, um, that's the right way up. But putting it in the from the top down, which I think is just as intuitive, is actually 
really difficult because you can basically not squeeze the uh, uh, the head of this um, of this clamp, however you want to call it, um, in there, which is actually not pretty clever. It's a it's a good uh, it's a good option having like like it's they thought out like that's the right way to do this and it will help you with that, both in terms of how the logo looks like, but also in terms of like which like the fact that is, is this is actually not a, just a just a straight channel, it's actually just narrowing. The hip parts are small, uh, but it also does mean that they actually do fit, as stated, when, uh, whoops, straight on, go. Um, yeah. They do fit within this carrying system when you flat over, so you, it does mean a little more bulk down here, but doesn't really matter that much. You're not going to touch that with your leg if you have it as a missionary bag. And uh, if you're just closing up and to carry or storing it, it's just great. Um, so I also think that's why it's so, like it's quite light. But the foam is good. Oh, I said earlier, there is actually just two straps here where you could conceivably have stuff. But these are elastic and I would worry that these would, you know, get less usable over time. And they're mainly, just for holding the straps in. Now, one thing I found is this is actually my size. Again, I pre-adjusted it for me. Um, that these straps are just the right length that you have to be really thin to actually use these loops. Or if you're bigger than me, they won't dangle as much. But for me, it's typical dangle. And uh, I might be a little bit of a bigger guy, but still, uh, it's not the most best Angle free experience when you actually have it on and walking around with it. Um, then you also have a sternum strap, which is you know, in build up, can adjust really nicely. It's good, it's great. Um, there's just a, again uh, a buckle with a uh, whistle on it, and this can be put here so it's not in the way. And again, why they have this on the bigger bag but not on the smaller bag, uh, I am a little confused by it because if you're using this bag, it will probably get heavy enough um, compared to the daily that you would like to have a sternum strap. Not because of the bag itself, it's not that heavy at all, but because of the stuff you're going to put in, all the actual volume I think you Then the really cool things uh, about this is that you have these like little magnetic plastic uh, buckles here that really sit in really nicely. Again, this is shaped like this because I shaped it for myself with load and then you can just pack it away. Um, uh, but now it actually fits me, and uh, these are, of course, uh, to help lift the bag so your load gets in the right place. And now, of course, I've just did my stem stuff away. But now it actually fits really well, and it can carry a lot of load without being uncomfortable, especially when you also combine that with the, with the hip belt. I'm going to sit that down for now. Again, big zipper, rough handle it a little bit, something is a little, just a little stuck, pull it a little tighter, you're not afraid of it, it's great. Sturdy, same material as the daily, uh, which is rain, uh, it's good for rain, uh, it's not totally rainproof, I wouldn't be in a, uh, in a real like Asian, um, what do you call that, flooding situation with, uh, with this, uh, without a rain fire, but it's just normal. Nordic daily rain is, is fine. Um, laptop compartment is the exact same as the daily, uh, same size too, except here the fault button is way larger because the laptop is the same sizing. Um, it also is raised as much as possible, uh, so you could argue that you have something bigger um, if you had put it low down, but they actually put it up so you have it up to, towards your shoulders and your back, which I think is the right move concerning the weight. Um, that's really cool. Um, then here we have no uh, internal uh, compartments here, like with the daily, but you still have the paper pocket here. And behind this, you actually do have a, again, open pocket. Uh, I don't know why they did this. This would have really served with a zipper, but it's actually a little bigger. So generally, it would be a really good place for having something like a power bank or similar, but that being that, it, if it's not big enough to not fall out, it will fall out when you actually carry it as a backpack, which I think you should, because there's no zipper on here, which is a bit of a shame. 
uh, mistake for speed is right here. You see there's a target in here that's quite deep, about this deep. Um, and of course this, the payload target is much deeper than that. But so again, not the most useful target just because you, things can fall out. Uh, and also it would have that if you had a report of books or something here, it would be a bit of a weird fit, we would turn a little to watch. So up here you have a very small pocket, it's only about like half a finger in depth. Um, this is a pen pocket, what I would call it. Uh, I actually use it for my stylus if I'm traveling. SD cards, uh, really small big, um, cables, uh, like small charging cables and so on. Obviously, opening is not like a, like a butterfly, um, like a butterfly chicken. Um, but where I can actually pack, I have it out and then pack everything and then close it up. And I think this is a really nice feature. In it. Front pockets, there are two. Here's the uh, instead of my pants pocket. It's the same as the daily, more the same size, same width. A little bit of extra give up here. That's good underneath the logo. And also hard to see for a mist pocket um, with a. And this is a small zero that I haven't really used, so it's not fresh and nice, um, but also with a, uh, a, a buckle or a loop for your, for your keys. Again, haven't used it, but you know, it's there and it's blue and you can kind of see it down there. Uh, so if you're, uh, if you're concerned a lot about the keys or other small items, you can put it in there. So that's for probably so that's small headphones, uh, um, your phone, something like that when you're going, if you're going through the airport and you don't want to have that. Um, or if you just you know prefer not to have it in your pants, rip this out. This one, deeper in, is also uh, like further into the back. So actually, if you fill this up too much, it will bulk out, which is fine. But that will disturb this small part of maybe a little bit. But it also will bulk in because the material here is not stiff. So that could take off some of the volume from in the back. This I find perfect for very specific use, which is. Uh, full uh, noise cancelling headphones with a like what do you call it? closed uh, closed ear. Uh, these are from Jabber, but same size as anyone from uh, from Bose or Sony or anything like that. And that's just perfectly to put in here. Except these actually turns on a little bit. And then you can have that in that here. You can just stay here when you're through the airport, and you know. Now you are in a, in a 10,000 feet and you're allowed to do stuff with your laptop or your phone. You can just have this on your way compartment. And if you have been just been a little thoughtful, you can open here just to get your laptop out and open here to get your headphones out. And before this bag, I used to travel with, um, with my with my headphones being in the actual case and everything, it's just so much bulk um, in comparison to having them loose, but I just didn't have anywhere that was good to put them because I was always worried about the foam and everything. And with this pocket, it's readily, readily available and it is protected uh, quite well. So I think it's just, that's what it's really supposed to be for. Quite like that. Um, thick pocket, again, this is quite simple um, all in all design. So again, butterfly is open. We're going to talk about that in a second. I'm just had a pillow in here to uh, to fill it up. I agree with that. So the weird thing about this particular bag um, is compared to the mid to the Milano daily, um, this clamshell you can see is quite hollow here. So it's meant to if you're using packing cubes which is generally that you kind of like buff it out a little bit. And then you actually pack this side, which might be counterintuitive because this side is the floppy side. But you can actually pack this quite well with packing cubes and then fold the stiff side over like a, like a lid, basically. And then it's, you know, it's packed as well, it's good. Um, on this side, we have, again, just like in the Mian Daily, we have two pockets, one on the bottom. That's not, it's bigger here, of course, it has no false bottom, but it is about as deep as my hand, um, which means you can put quite a lot of stuff in here, like special accessories. Here you can maybe even put a charger, these kind of things, so you can, but you're not too worried about 
fucking around a little bit, but you know, it's good space. And here, which is where I actually would put text off, is um, is uh, is a mesh pocket, so you can see through and you can quite easily identify um, things, even if you're top opening it, which you will quite a lot of times. Um, so, and then with these, I think, again, an improvement. These are not flat. These actually have some give to them, so you can really get out. So you could also have clothing here. Um, but honestly, if you're using packing cubes, why would you? Other, other than that, I could see myself packing a uh, my packable raincoat or a uh, packable winter um, or like, you know, a jacket, packable jacket in here. Because then you could get, get to it really quickly and it can still be a little compressed by being here. So that's a, that's a quite good feature. I mean, see, I mean, this pocket is actually really big. Uh, so you can carry quite a lot of things in here. But again, really big uh, volume. I mean, I'll suggest that I use their own packing cubes. There's like three big packing cubes, two larger and one slightly smaller. And I respectfully disagree. I think this is a perfect bag for having uh, multiple smaller packing cubes where you can categorize your things. That's, uh, that's the main thing with, uh, with this bag. I am just going to cover some accessory as well. So here I have the Minal uh, suitor, or the suit uh, holder. Uh, it fits really nice in, uh, inside the bags with these different little um, hooks uh, that fits in the loop within inside the bag. And it does so both in the carry-on and in the daily, which is actually kind of practical because then you can have some extra clothes with you uh, when you're actually traveling with the, with the, uh, the carry-on and then change this to the daily when you're having a daily routine that you're trying to fulfill. I quite like this, uh, it's very practical. Um, the thing about it is it's nicely sized, so even if it's a little bigger than I am, um, you can have a nice uh, shirt in here. If you're small, you could have two side by side. Um, so that's really practical. Uh, nice, uh, good quality Velcro, uh, plenty of it. Uh, and then over here, you have a mess pocket that's quite big. I have heard some reviewers, they are quite good why there's a mesh pocket. I love it. This is a perfect place to keep ties. Uh, and also um, keeping like small accessories for your suit if you have that. Uh, like, um, uh, what do you call those? Collar, uh, I don't know, collar clasps or whatever. Um, English, um, about ties, collar clasps, uh, tie holders, these kind of things. Um, so having all in like one coherent package. This thing is also big enough that I bet that me and my size large frame can have a full suit in here, packed in the right way, uh, meaning it would be a little more bulky, but I think this can do it. Um, but having that in one coherent package so I can have a full extra suit with me if it's a long day or uh, extra shirts if you're in a hot climate uh, or something similar. I, I quite like this. Uh, also, uh, material-wise, this is a, I mean, it's a plasticky material, but it is good quality. It feels nice. You can hear the crinkle. It's not, it's not a like really plasticky crinkle. But it's quite good. Um, in terms of that, so that fits in here. And it's, these are elastic, so even if you pull a little bit, it, they, uh, it doesn't give too much resistance, and the same with the loops. And that means you can actually, like, again, handle this a little roughly, and uh, you actually have to pull it in so you don't have to be too careful, uh, which is really nice when you have to pack stuff together. And now, this fits also nice and snug. One thing I don't really get is these hooks. These hooks are on the different like, uh, directions. So this one goes, let's say, upwards, and then the other side they go downwards. I don't quite get the uh, intention behind this. I presume it's on purpose, but I just haven't found a really good reason why. Because you can just flip this around and then have all of them go down. So, but I mean, they stay in place. Even the the hooks are on the other side because there's a little. Uh, resistor to it. Um, so now that's this kind of snug. Why? Laptop. And then put that in first. 
So you know what it is. It's easy to get out. If you're traveling, you have to go through an airport. You know, you have to, to get it through the security, and yada, yada, yada. Um, and then, now, with this Minal Daily, it actually just about fits inside in this pocket as well. So even though it's not technically a compressible bag because it is so flat, mess this up a little bit. Oh my! I grabbed the wrong bag. Sorry. Uh, try to zip up two bags together. Nice. Um, because it's so flat, it's a profile, and it is also you know in terms of density, it's probably a little bit one of the heavier. Even if you have just a little bit of stuff into it, it actually does fit inside. So here, this is a simulated uh, luggage. Of course, if you're trying to pack a pillow for uh, uh, for going to a travel, especially with a carry-on bag, you are either very, very sensitive or out of your mind. But for simulation purposes, this will work just well because it is a little flexible and quite pack and cube sized. Good. Something went wrong here in huh. So this one actually the knot kind of came around halfway. The new one set, but uh, easy fix. Also, you know these are very flexible, and uh, probably the the string or the plastic would break away before the actual zipper, which would be the worst thing um, that could happen. I have had that happen to other bags. So if there's something and it gets a pull, then it's not the actual zipper; it's just a string coming in place. That's good. It's a fail safe, uh, so that's really something I, I appreciate. And then now you have it more or less fully loaded. These, and try to make it fit so it doesn't bulge your stomach out too much. Maybe you should do some weight instead. Um, but you can see, actually, this fits really nice, and I don't have too much weight on it right now because it's getting into a pillow on a pretty heavy laptop, but I can, I can feel it all. All the weight. I'm sure if I put this up a little bit, you can actually see I'm actually not carrying weight right now in the shoulders at all. I'm only pulling it in, which means I probably could tighten this a little bit more, but uh, because of the really good placement of the, the hip jump, I'm not carrying everything in my hip uh, and just pulling things in in my shoulders, which means I could carry something quite heavy for hours with this. So. Tracking through a city from a, going from an airport uh, through metro station to walking on cobble streets Which is a nightmare with a suitcase a heavy suitcase uh, to an Airbnb or something like that easy this is the uh, Minal has a thing they called um, travel friction, which is a bit of a Thing, um, but I do get the point. I mean you don't snack on to anything when you have this you can have things that are pretty readily available-ish, like mean, if you have pockets, if you have a jacket with pockets, you can have your most important things there. Otherwise, I, I need my uh, Paris Metro car I just bought. Maybe you can actually grab that if you do travel in your little hidden pocket, but it's not too too, too much. Or you could have your, you know, your local currency. Um, and then just go around, and this could pack up easily for a few days. Um, probably even more. Uh, the big the thing I don't like about this bag is it's actually really, really simple. Um, I'm just gonna open it up to uh, to showcase. Um, maybe take my white pillow out because actually that kind of goes against my point. Um, but that is, if you're the type who buys a, I would call it somewhat of a designer uh, backpack, or maybe even two, uh, like in this case. That's really well thought out, and you're paying extra for that. Um, maybe you're also the kind of person who really likes this black, uh, simplistic, or um, uh, aesthetic, aesthetic um, a minimalist aesthetic. Um, and uh, this may not be the only thing you own that has that. So maybe you're the kind of person who has. Uh, a black pocket camera you want to put in there, or um, um, a black um, a small pair of headphones you would you would like to use when you're traveling to put in there. Black bigger pair of headphones like the Bose's really are, and Sony's also most of the sold are just black. 
um, maybe a black wallet, um, black black phone, uh, all these kind of things. And then um, when you're actually taking a look at it, and especially if you're just top loading just to find something really quick, this gets dark real quick. Um, because even though there is a difference, this is a, the outer material is not the same as the inner material. Um, they're both black. And the simple way to solve that, um, for one, don't buy the black one, buy the gray one. But again, oh, one of the black one, because it might be aesthetic. Um, but I think this inner material, while being really, really nice, um, shouldn't be black even on the black model. Um, nobody cares, nobody can see it when you're wearing it. It's just for you. But having that in a maybe stylistic light gray, uh, or even in the, as other bags, some other bags have it, in a bit of a funkier color. Uh, I could think of a light blue because they they used to have that as a part of the bag uh, design. Um, on the inside would really help in you being able to see what you have. Like even if I don't have that much in my pockets, it's sometimes difficult to find things, especially when I have it in the mesh because. Like the lighting has to be really good. Uh, this is the kind of bag, unfortunately, a little bit like if you don't have the time to open up, you kind of want to take your phone out and like use your flash to actually find stuff inside it. And a different colorway on the inside would really help with that. So that's kind of the suggestion to a 4.0 maybe. Material, functionality, quality, um, philosophy, so to speak, behind this. Um, the fact that you have two bags that can be used really well independently. I mean, I would even buy the Minal Daily uh, because it's so so good as a daily driver. I mean, I use my Minal Daily every day, more or less. Uh, if I have to leave the house, I use this only for traveling. Um, I think independently, you can definitely buy just either, buying them together because one fit into the other and it's a flat design, it really, really, Really nice, and you might you know what to expect. Like it, packing your Minal daily is just like packing a carry-on. So, I mean, you have an intuitive. You will gain an intuitive feeling of like getting your laptop out without actually having to look too much in the back. Except when you have the Minal daily in there, and you might see that. But I mean, that's just you don't have to look really when you are standing in the uh, uh, in the coffee shop, in the airport, in the anything. I mean, you have to pack it down safely. Well. You can feel your way around because you are, this is what you've done every day with the you know, daily, but even if you didn't do that, this is just a, the carry on is a great travel bag for long weekend or light traveler for unlimited time. Um, while the Minal daily is just, it doesn't, I don't think it quite competes with a compressible uh, backpack, which I also own, which for going on vacations where you don't really need your laptop or anything like that. But if you are a daily worker in any sort, either just at home or if you do consulting where you travel and then you do daily work uh, at a destination, um, it's just awesome. There's no way around it. It's great. Especially also because it has an integrated pseudo. So I can see myself riding around Jakarta in, uh, on the back of a Gojek or a, or a Grab with my Minal daily on and then just grabbing my nicer uh, jacket when I got to my destination. Um, not to sweat too much in a, in a 35 degree uh, Celsius uh, weather, like get that, get that out and it's really nice and not being crumpled together on the inside, using my space for that and then just having my general laptop tech here, you know, camera, whatever I need to have uh, to fulfill my, uh, my needs on that destination. These bags make that pretty easy. And I guess that's what they mean by travel like little. Party, you like these bags? I am quite happy with my purchase. Um, I cannot wait so I can travel more, especially for my work. Uh, so I can use these to actually go into the, like, to destinations on the other, other side of the planet with this. It's, uh, I think it's going to be a joy. So, thank you for that. I hope the editing is good because that's why I'm trying to do this. But, yeah. See ya.